fantastic. Yeah, you came by at the film festival a couple of years in our. We had a little suite in the Intercontinental for yeah. Into the Wild, so you made your rounds with us then too. You gonna go visit Emil on the eighth floor? Yeah, we've yeah, been, we've been running so into each other. I think that's so funny with Catherine and you and the six degrees. It's just very strange. Uh, congratulations! My goodness, you did such a great job in this. Thank and you. I, I want to ask you, when did it hit you that you were really part of something really special and huge? Well. I always knew that I was going to be a part of something special, and I mean that's what drove me to do it. The responsibility that I had for the project and and the character that I played really like drove me to do the job and really work. Um, but I was completely unaware of how huge it was. I mean, I sort of didn't believe people when they mentioned it. It was like, yeah, but we haven't even made the movie yet, so I don't really know what you're talking about. Um, and then. On this same, I mean, I kept my head down and it, and it ignored it, and then it got to a point at the end of the movie where it was like undeniable. Yeah. Um, well, the fans were even coming to the set trying yeah. to, to see what was going on. Yeah. And then you hit Comic Con. Yeah. Have you ever in your life experienced something like that? No, <laughs> of course not. Uh, I mean, you, the energy that you feel from a crowd. I mean, I've been in concerts and I felt that like elation, yes. um, but I've been a part of it. But I've never had it directed like like that energy thrown at you like that is really like sonic boom like it's literally like yeah. wrenching and so loud. Can't um, even imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Um, living up to this, you know, it's a like we say, it's so popular. There's all these girls and guys out there have read these books, and it's a huge responsibility. Did you feel that pressure, or were, when you were shooting, it was just like I am just playing a role and I'm going to do it the best I can do? Yeah, I was playing a part and you know just working. Out. I mean. It, I can't do a movie unless I feel that pressure, yeah. and it's entirely self-inflicted. It really had nothing to do. They didn't. Act, it was that pressure was an entirely different animal from what from what drives me to do my job, and mm -hmm. and um, it's very intangible, and uh, I, I don't. Um, you can't take everybody's yeah. considerations into account because you'd be playing a very disjointed character. Yeah. And uh, I care about the book just as much as they do. Yeah. So it's really weird for me. Um, it's weird for me to be this, like, figurehead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've arrived. <laughs> yeah. um, when did you know you clicked with Rob? Boy, you guys are good together on screen. Thanks. Uh, at, at the audition. I mean, it was, um, it was a really good audition. It was, uh, there was sort of just no question at the end of it. Um, I mean, he was, he was the only one that uh, I didn't feel like I was acting with. You know, it was yeah. like, he, if I changed something, then he changed the way he responded to me. It was, he, he responded to me. It was very responsive. It wasn't like he had this set performance. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's all in here. It's a very sort of undefinable thing. Do you think that he's so beautiful that it's painful to look at him? No. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stroke his ego any more than any, everybody else has. <laughs> Yeah, it's being stroked a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, was it hard to shake Bella when rap? How did you get? How did you kind of get rid of her for a bit after that? I drove home from Portland. Um, yeah, it was a really loaded experience, like on and off set. Just everything was like entirely revolving around this story, and like everybody was obsessed with it. And it got, you know, by the end, so heavy, and everybody was just done. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were all like really happy that that, you know, happy that it was over, which isn't a negative thing. It's the best way to feel at the end of a movie because it's like, all right, we did it, you know. And um, I uh, haven't picked up the second book yet. I yeah. can't deal. I just, yeah. I, you know. You need a kind of a break yeah. from it. Yeah. yeah. Was there one particular scene that you were just so chomping at the bit to, to get at? <sighs> like all of, all of them. I mean, you know, even the more like frivolous scenes, like lighter scenes, n n there's not one light scene in this movie. No. I mean, the beginning is light, but the second she walks into the classroom and sees him, and he feels and smells her, mm. it's it's instantly like rot yeah. and and like wrenching, and um, it, it wasn't frivolous. It was never light, and we always got a bunch of crap for that. Um, but but I'm really glad that we stuck to our guns because I've seen the movie and it's like it, is. it has a slow, steady progression and it's all rooted in the characters and it's not 
corny and stupid. Yeah, and building up that kiss was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Did a great job. Congratulations, Thanks. and we look forward to the next one. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you.